it's starting to rain again. The rain had uh, cracked up a little bit. They passed notice of the ship, but just holding it, uh, just enough to keep it. Today, we're going to build a giant hook in the sky, a hook to catch the radio signals and bring them in to the studio. Hello, and welcome to The Art of Engineering, a place where art meets engineering. Now that we've got the Morse key finished, we're going into stage two of this production of a ham radio station, and that is curing of the parts for an antenna and the installation of that antenna. So what I've done is I've gone down to JCAR and as it would have it, um, my, uh, where I'm actually working, just across the road we have a JCAR store and JCAR is pretty much like um, Dick Smith used to be prior to them becoming like Bing Lee. Uh, so you can go down to JCAR and find a lot of, a lot of parts you'll need to do stuff that you want to do. Now obviously if you want to build an antenna, I could have done this a lot cheaper had I looked around for scrap materials and what have you, but um, all of the stuff you see on the table here now is going to be used to create the antenna, and I'll just discuss what sort of antenna that is later, in, later on in the video, but I've gone for quite a light wire. I don't want um, it to be too um, noticeable, uh, you know, I don't want to piss the neighbours off. Um, this is uh, two toroids, so I'm going to be building a, an un-un to end feed the antenna. So that's a little bit of a hint as to what type of antenna it will be. So there's enough here for two of those. So really I've bought more parts than I need, but the idea will probably be to create another un-un, which will be a portable one, which I'll take out on QRP when I'm going to remote locations and I'm using the transmitter elsewhere on another antenna. And I've bought 100 metres of wire, which is probably more than double what I need, but that's also good because I'll be able to create one portable antenna and one antenna that I'll be using um, for the, the base station. Um, so yeah, that's the wire to um, wind the toroid, and um, that's the case that the uh, the un un will go into. And I have also purchased at Bunnings um, just a little bit of uh, timber that I'm going to use to um, put a post on the side of the shed here. So the antenna will hopefully be running from the side of the shed. To the top of that roof over there, we hope. And here's some gratuitous drone footage. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to show you where the antenna is going to be um, run. So if I can actually manage to fly this thing and not crash it like I normally do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the corner of the shed here and we're going to try and turn it around now. We're not supposed to be flying in the built up area too so better way to piss your neighbours off than uh, fly a drone while you're trying to surreptitiously put up an antenna. And it's going to go to the top of that roof over there. So I'm hoping that from there, all the way over to the shed here, about halfway along with that, uh, that side there that we're looking at, um, is 26 odd metres. That's, the, that's what I'm hoping. I should have actually um, tested it, but hey, that's the way I am slack. A quick and gratuitous uh, little plug for my Redbubble store and this is a shirt that's been made in commemoration of um, all things Morse and radio and it is my Morse homebrew Morse key CW shirt. Now this uh, is available on uh, all sorts of stuff, uh, you know cups, shirts, you name it, it's there. So please You'll find the link below to take you to the page, um, both the Amazon merch store, if you're in the US, it might be cheaper to buy there. Otherwise, anywhere else, you'll probably be, uh, especially if you're in Australia, you're probably better off buying the Redbubble store. Um, yep, yeah, and back to the video. Okay, folks, well, 
we're in the throes of installing an antenna and you're always worried about upsetting the neighbours um, just because you're enamoured with bits of wire draped across the yard doesn't mean that your neighbours are going to be as thrilled. Um, so I'm trying to like be a bit conservative about this. I'd really like to go really, really high. Um, what I'll probably do is um, run the antenna and the antenna that I am installing is called a ZEP antenna. And that's short for Zeppelin. And it's because it's actually an antenna that was discovered probably back in the 1930s, I think, maybe even earlier than that. And it was used on Zeppelin airships. And um, it's an NFED antenna that's just been discovered via experimentation. So I'm not... Um, I'm not in a, an airship, obviously, and uh, there's a lot of tin roof. So I, one lucky break, and that's that there's no sarking or aluminium insulation in the roof proper, the pitched roof part of the house. So I'm going to run from the crest of the roof across to this shed, and um, hopefully uh, it'll tune up. It's probably going to need a lot of help with a, uh, an antenna tuner, which I am also um, waiting for parts for. And that will be another project that will appear on this channel as well. But if it doesn't tune or it's, or it's difficult to tune, and I don't think I'm getting much radiant power to the antenna, I will probably push it higher. And what I'll probably do to do that is buy myself a flexible uh, fishing pole and strap that to the um, piece of timber that I have up there so that the antenna has a little bit of give in it so that there's not as much strain on the actual support for the antenna. Anyway, um, Pandemonium reigns supreme here. I'll show you outside of you outside. You can have a look at uh, how it all looks. Anyway, we'll do it in one take. And it's looking very much like when I was building the, uh, the Morse key. Yes, we got out every single tool we had. And and that's it on the side of the shed. Goes up to about my, my head height um, when you get up on the roof. But I still don't think I've got six metres for the counterpoise. So we'll be running from there across to there. And uh, hopefully we've got 26 metres, um, which is what we need for this antenna. Hello. Hello. We're killing plants. Oh, well, that's the um, end of a day one or part one of the antenna saga. Uh, I'm going to do this video in two, maybe three parts. So the next video, I'm going to um, be giving you a bit of a rundown on how I build the Anun and where I got those resources. Any resources that I've used for this antenna in this video, um, you'll see in the link below and in the link below you'll probably see the part numbers from JCAR and the cost of parts purchased thus far not including timber and stuff like that you can um, find that yourself in Bunnings or, or salvage it because each installation is going to have its own challenges with regards to the height that needs to be achieved if you're really lucky you might have some trees nearby that you can borrow uh, unfortunately I don't have any trees that I can borrow and um, I am going to have some issues with height, I think, but I'm going to just be very um, conservative in my height presently. And then I'm going to maybe push it up as, as needs require. Anyway, we are jumping on the um, Road Grand Tour and we are going to have a, um, a bit of a ride because um, I am getting fat again and um, I am in 
sort of 24 hours into a fast. I'm going to do a 36 hour fast. I break the fast tomorrow. So tomorrow morning I can eat again and hopefully um, I've lost a little bit of that weight as well. So try to do a weekly, maybe fortnightly fast. I think it's a healthy thing to do at any rate and because um, I definitely overfeed myself. Anyway, see you in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please comment below, like and subscribe. And next video, probably the Antenna Saga will continue. And sorry, I don't have a mic on. Can't be bothered. Bye.